Hey guys, this is Games Turned Irrelevant. I had a topic that was top of my mind uh, while I was taking a bath today. I've been seeing so many YouTubers make videos about the current state of the gaming industry, and I wanted to put my two cents in because I feel a similar way to a lot of people uh, about how games are being made these days, how they're being managed, um, and the dollar bill signs that these executives have in their eyes with business practices like microtransactions. I'm not going to be saying a whole lot that hasn't been said, but I was playing GoldenEye today and it made me think back to the reasons why I love gaming in the first place. Uh, and it's magic. I feel like video games are one of the f forms of art that really can be a magical experience. It's the most interactive art form that I know of. Um, sure, music can take me places. Paint. I'm a painter. I'm an artist. Go check out my art videos, by the way. Anyway, um, I'm a visual artist and I used to be a musician, so I understand the value and capacity for those mediums to transport me, but there's nothing that can transport you quite like a video game can. And so that's a very sacred thing to me, that ever since I was introduced to the magic of video games through games like this, and Halo, and Kingdom Hearts, the PS2 era, Metal Gear Solid, Counter-Strike 1.6 was a big thing for me for a lot of years. I recently started playing it again. Um, there was a magic and an essence and an energy to it that came from a place of artistic vision, uh, and it's not, I'm not saying that there aren't games that still have an artistic vision, but it seems like the art is plastered in, uh, tags with prices on them, seemingly with microtransactions, skins, uh, endless customization for ridiculous amounts of money when you should really be spending it on groceries, um, Fortnite dances, etc. So, not to be a boomer or anything in all oh, the good old days, but to be a boomer and be like, oh, the good old days, because there is something missing from games right now. I, I was a Halo fan for so long, and, uh, it just occurred to me that I'm not recording. Anyway, <clears throat> I was a Halo fan for many, many years, and I still am a Halo fan. I still love the Master Chief Collection. I still play that. <laughs> but I, I gave Halo Infinite an earnest uh, year of playtime, trying to convince myself that it wasn't a hollow experience, and it was. In the end, I realized it didn't have the same soul and the same funk as games I had grown up loving. And I noticed this in games that I don't actively play starting to take over as well, where the quality is being sacrificed for the profit margins. And so I just wanted, in the spirit of protest, to encourage gamers to vote with your dollar. That is what these executives pay attention to. They, they don't often care about the creative process in these video game studios. There could be dedicated people on teams that are just so greedy with executive uh, heads dictating what their creative choices are and can suffocate games even if there's real talent and people that truly have an appreciation for the art form they're creating and have a serious attitude and approach to making it. Um, I'm not discrediting any developers, but I am noticing, like so many others, uh, that the quality of their content is declining, and I, again, if you want to have a vote in this and, and get their attention in a way that's going to make heads turn, don't buy products that support greedy business practices and water down content and sell it in DLCs and in uh, what do you what do you call it? Split games into eight fractions of a pie when it should have come released as one pie instead of eight slices. And uh, it's 
you know, it's a it's a back and forth relationship. It's not all one or the other. It's not all developers or all consumers' fault. It's a it's both of our faults if we take some ownership of it because we're the ones buying these games, showing these executives that what their business practices are doing are profitable. So, I'm gonna pause to record again. So that being said, vote with your dollars. Vote with your wallet. If you want to see this change, buy games that don't feed in to these corporate practices. That's the only way we're going to change this. And if, if we accept mediocrity, and if, it's, if mediocrity is profitable, then mediocrity will continue to be the result of a lot of these studios uh, development cycles so let's get their attention by I'm, I'm not saying to boycott people that work hard because often these coders and asset makers 3d artists concept artists etc all the people that go in their their work is valid and often mismanaged by people who are looking to make a buck in retirement. They don't care about us. They, they care about their retirement fund. They don't care. They often don't care on an executive level, on a corporate level, about the experience that they're delivering to us, the consumers. So let's support studios who have good ethics and are creating games that are inspiring, beautiful, uh, worthwhile, memorable and um, show that if, if we stop feeding the beast, the beast will starve and die. So let's, let's starve bad behavior in the, in the, on the corporate level of gaming. And that, that's how we're gonna change this thing, okay? I just wanted to put my two cents in. I love gaming, I'm a fan. I'm inspired by games in my real life. I think about them uh, in my day-to-day -day comings and goings, I daydream about video games, I'm a visual person, uh, I love the aesthetic of games, uh, digital media, uh, imagination manifests, so, uh, I just wanted to come on here and share my two cents, so thanks for listening, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this, my channel is focused on retro gaming and visual art. That's what I do, I do both. I haven't quite found a ch channel identity because of that, but I'm experimenting with just releasing two types of content right now, which is like painting time lapses and game captures. So if you like this content, support the channel, it mean a lot. I'm trying to get monetized by the end of the year, and thank you for listening. Games Turn Irrelevant, out.